Yo, sister with Nick and I too for another video, and today I'm going to be playing more Demon Contract. Anyway, I hope you like the audio in this video. I uh, got a... Granted, a cheap pair of headphones with a mic, but, you know, um, whatever works. Uh, let's continue, shall we? He really does look... Oh, oh, God, what was the voice for I had for the... <laughs> he really does look like you, and he's taller, like you said. That was a pretty good lie about me, too. One that only works if he's polite. A polite demon. What's the catch, I wonder? Dot dot dot. Camilla? This is so stressful. What's stressful? I'm having fun. Ah, uh, God. I was not expecting sudden music. That was loud. Can I turn that down? I hope that's not too loud over my voice, but that, yeah, that just popped in out of nowhere. Return. Ugh, Ellen. <laughs> I've just been going with the flow, but... Why do I have to pretend to be a demon again? Because I wasn't supposed to make friends with clients. But our very first contract was to be friends. I know. I'm, I know. I messed up. Oh. I am sorry, I'm really causing a lot of trouble for you by coming here, huh? It's not your fault. I couldn't just not see you again. Dot dot dot. I'm sorry, I didn't summon you like normal. I should have tried harder to get the stuff for it again. But... When I thought about somehow finding you myself, I got really excited and had my heart set on doing that. Haha, <laughs> sounds just like you. C Camilla, I've had a lot of time to think while I was searching for you. I love demons, but I can't be satisfied becoming friends with just any demon. It has to be you. Oh. Uh, oh. And for corrupting my heart like that, you must be punished. You're punishing me? Okay. Know what? This will be the thumbnail. It's a good enough thumbnail than anything. Hold on a second, guys. It's going to lag for a second. And there we go. You're punishing me? Well, you were punished enough by me showing up and causing trouble, so now we're even. <laughs> You're so outrageous. Tee, did you miss me, Camilla? I... I don't know. Maybe I was fixating on you out of guilt, but I actually had a lot of fun whenever you summoned me. Did you know because you made a contract with a demon, your soul belongs to Netherworld? That's... That's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me, Camilla. Uh, I'm being serious. Each contract takes a bit of your soul as payment. And when you die, you'll become reborn as a demon. I'll become a demon? This just keeps getting better. No, you don't understand. It won't be you anymore. 
You don't get to keep any of your memories when you're reborn. Oh, I thought I could do this job. I thought I could be the big scary demon taking souls in exchange for favors. But I never want to do you a favor again if it means I'm chipping away at your life. It's fucked up. I don't mind. Uh, Helena, I don't care if it hurts me. I don't regret summoning you. Dot dot dot. So, I guess it's good that I came here after all. I won't summon you anymore. We can just get together like normal friends. Okay, yeah. If you're not my client, then we can be friends. Or girlfriends. Uh, um... I actually thought that was my door. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like our uh, dinner is ready. Thanks, Olog. I'm just saying, Camilla. Think about it, okay? Let's see how long this has been going on for. I got plenty of time. Later that night. So... So that's everything that happened. Sorry I couldn't talk about it before. Hmm. I understand why it would be hard to talk with me about that. I can also imagine you wanted the problem to conveniently fade away without having to tell me your mistake. It was looking like it might until she showed up today. Right, so here we are. Hey, Olag, is there a way to cancel a contract? Um, hmm. I never should have made it. I shouldn't have agreed. I was just going with the flow. Does being her friend outside of the summoning still count as me doing her a favor? Does it keep taking bits of her soul? It was my first contract. Why did I settle on something so vague, thinking it'd be fine? I'm an idiot. Well... Oh, it, my bag of... Well... If the contract is in, interpet, interpreted as the act of starting the friendship, rather than the act of maintaining the friendship, then you could just amend the original contract to have clearer language. Both parties can sign and you'll be free. A, a demon freeing herself from her own contract. <laughs> Typically, it's the clients trying to free themselves from some of the more nasty contracts. Yep. And I imagine to turn it or I imagine to turn it around. That's how bad a failure I am as a contract demon. Are you going to quit? Oh, after all this, absolutely. Thanks for having me, but this is my two weeks notice. Fair enough. I'll miss you around the office, but it's for the best. So, we can just amend the contract and the friendship thing isn't a concern anymore? Yep, just classify the intention and there's no risk. There's no more risk of more of her soul being taken. Good, good. So, when are you going to properly introduce me to this girl? Is she really afraid of men? Haha. <laughs> No, she's a demon fanatic, so she'll just ask you a thousand strange questions. You should be afraid of her. Hmm, noted. I'll have to clear my schedule a bit if she has so many questions for me. Alright, I'm going back inside. Thanks for the talk. And dinner was really good, as always. Sure thing. Don't stay up too late. Night, Olog. Oh 
Hey, sorry to keep to keep you. Are you going through my things? I was just looking. I was just looking. You have more games and comics than I expected. It's is that where you get your inspiration for being more demon-like? Uh, never mind that. So our contract. Olag says we can amend it, so that is already expectedly fulfilled. That way, there's no risk of me hurting you by being your friend. Ah, you were worried about that. I already told you whatever the price I have to pay to be with you, it's worth it. <laughs> Don't say that. It's like throwing your life away. I don't want you to do that. Then, is it possible you return my feelings? Uh, just because I don't want you to die. That's, uh, that's quite a stretch. Hmm. Okay, we can amend the contract. <laughs> Good. There's everything in order. All of our contracts together have been fulfilled. So you don't have to give up any more of your soul. Now we're free to be friends. Or girlfriends. <laughs> Slow down. We can be friends, okay? Okay, now what? Now, um... Well, it's pretty late. You may as well stay the night. <laughs> Last time you had a sleepover with me. And now I get to have one with you. Yep, that's how it turned out. Your bed isn't as big as mine was, so we'll have to cuddle pretty close. Uh, I'll sleep on the floor. Ah, even though we've slept in the same bed before, you're being so shy. It's different now, and don't say it like that. Okay... Do you, um, need to borrow pajamas or anything? No, these are my pajamas. Do you own any normal clothes? Of course I do, they're just not as comfy. Haha, <laughs> you're so strange. Well, what do you, do your pajamas look like? Then we'll see who's strange. What are you even expecting? Fine, I'll show you. Um, actually, I'll change in the bathroom. Why? It's embarrassing. You're so shy. E. Mm. Uh. <clears throat> okay, uh, no, I'll continue for a while. See? Normal. You lose the... You lose the not strange contest. I'll happily lose if I get to see you this cute. <laughs> you can't even lose normally, you weirdo. Hmm. It's more fun to be strange anyway. Hey, Camilla. Is it hard to sleep on your side because of your horns? Huh? Uh, not really. I guess now that I think about it, I usually sleep more on my stomach. Do your horns hit the bar of your bed frame? Is that why your pillow was placed down lower? Oh, have you... <laughs> oh, have you ever impaled the wall on accident? Having such big horns seems so dangerous. Uh, are you going to ask me weird specific questions all night? <laughs> Oh no, I forgot it makes you mad. <laughs> you don't have to answer. Anyway, are you tired? Should we do anything before bed? <laughs> I want to read one of your books. Oh, okay. I meant something we could both do together, but that's fine too. <laughs> don't worry. It's totally something we can do together, since the kinds of books I wanted to ask for is... Dot, dot, dot. Adult comics. 
I don't have any. Uh, not that I'm willing to share. Anyway, I have to keep my secrets safe. Hmm. I hope you'll share with me one day. But you know, comics like that wouldn't satisfy me anymore. Not since you corrupted my heart. Your heart was plenty corrupt from the beginning. Do you have any demon anatomy books? Maybe that'd be enough. See, you're corrupted as hell. I'll be your dark angel, Camilla. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay over. We can go to sleep now if you want. Uh, Alright, I'll set up my sleeping bag. No, um... I'll end the video here, guys. I'll continue in the next video. I hope the audio goes well, and I hope you like it. Um, peace.